Today is the unofficial start of the summer season, as we all know. For many, the holiday includes a trip to the beach, but the pandemic has kept beaches closed in Rhode Island and Massachusetts. Starting today, though, that all changes. Brandon Truitt joining us live in East Matunic now. And uh, Brandon, it's just one of the beaches that's opening today where you are. Hey, Erica, good morning. That's exactly right. Yeah, you may not want to expect your go to beach to be open. Chances are it's not going to be. East Matunic, Scarborough, the only ones opening up as of right now. And of course, as we have come to expect with all of this, there are going to be some changes. These beaches have been open for walking access only. Right now, it's just the parking lot that are going to be opening at these two locations. That parking will be limited, we're told. The state saying that this will allow for people to spread out and avoid bunching up. The state says that there will be no lifeguards. No access to bathrooms. You will have access to Porta John, still be in the parking lot. Changing rooms and concessions will be closed, and groups must be kept to five or less. Admission, though, is going to be free. Now, masks are only required if you are unable to stay six feet away from others. The state says that you do not have to wear a face covering in the water. And we spoke with some people who live here and say that most people that they've been seeing are following the rules. Most people are. Some have face coverings. Uh, some everybody keeps at least six feet apart. I think for most people, um, you know, we've been cooped up for weeks and weeks and weeks. Um, we're frustrated. We want to get out. Um, mm -hmm. I think the last thing most people would want to do at the beach is have to wear a face covering. And by the way, Massachusetts state beaches are opening today as well. Now, they are having similar mask requirements as to Rhode Island. Their uh, limit, though, on how many people can be together up to 10, so higher than here in Massachusetts. We're live in Matunic. Brandon Truitt, Eyewitness News.